Hello and welcome back to Lorefed Gaming Plays Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host Lorefed. In this latest Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough slash let's play video, we're going to go ahead and of course explore this new land plus recruit Shadowheart, Astarion, and Gale. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, guides, and builds just like this. Last video, we uh, finished uh, the prologue and got ourselves a very nice sword. You know what? Let's not waste any more time. I think I see Shadowheart ahead. Before we uh, do go to Shadowheart, let's uh, go ahead and explore what's behind us just in case. Yeah, I'm taking a playbook from Divinity Ritual Sin 2 when you arrive back on the beach when you start the game out. Good idea to explore everything, just like in that game. You explore like this in this game too. Okay, there's Shadowheart. Oh, that is really easy to uh, get to her. You know what? Let's uh, go ahead and definitely add her to the party. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I will uh, definitely say this. She is a uh, keeper. Yeah, she is a trickery cleric. Let's see here. I'm just going to check the stats again. Yeah, good wisdom. That's why I like. Drink, Dex, and Connor are pretty uh, good. Christmas dump stat intelligence is uh, decent. So this is all uh, good. She's a, a high half elf, which is a uh, nice too. Okay, she has a chain shirt. I am gonna go ahead and definitely switch that out. Yeah, I th if I remember correctly, uh, clerics can definitely wear pl uh, heavy armor, but it's a strength thing. So if they have low strength, then here uh, get me more uh, light. Now I'm gonna be making a lot of saves like this, so uh, this way I can make some builds going on in the uh, future. Or if I'm doing another perfect party build just like I did in Wasteland 3. If I do that, it'll be like in Baldur's Gate 3. Anyway, it's time to level. So there's Cheryl Hart, uh, level 2 cleric. And, oh wow, she gets, uh, if I remember correctly, another level 1 spell to cast. That's good. Uh, Channel Divinity charges 1. That's good. Turn Undead. That is even better. Okay, my issue was this uh, Shield of Faith. I'd rather do Bless, that's much more uh, better. Downside is I have to concentrate. If I do concentrate, yeah, it's a win-win situation. Okay, it looks like everything else is good. I might have to, uh, you know, I'm going to need water eventually because there's some environments. So let me do Create or Destroy Water. I'm going to go ahead and probably use the Create part. Reason being is, is uh, if there's any fires, I could douse it out. Even though my uh, team feeling is uh, somewhat immune to fire, but not everybody else. And, of course, her uh, special ability, because she's a trickery uh, cleric. And that's a good one. Invoke uh, duplicity. Uh, that's uh, good. So, she's all set and uh, good to uh, go. Most likely, I'll definitely get Shadow Heart. Definitely Wisdom maxed out. Then I'll uh, do Charisma or... Uh, not Charisma, I mean uh, Constitution and Dex. I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking probably doing uh, Constitution. This way she gets more hit points. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do some uh, ground exploring. 
yeah I mean come on uh, this is real simple real easy so let's see here backpack and no you cannot uh, take it it would have been nice it would have been like a divinity original sin 1 or 2 no let me uh, take it and uh, me using it as a personal backpack I will have to see later on when I have a much more higher strength okay there's a pouch there that's nice two more uh, potions I have a feeling I'll be using some quite a bit I'm gonna try to refrain from uh, resting a lot too uh, so uh, this way we seriously kick some uh, butt so let's see here okay this is not bad it's a different type of grass oh oh this is a uh, good so anytime you find a new ingredient it adds it to the alchemy recipe yeah I'll uh, get to uh, that later on but still this is a uh, really nice and there's also a nice key ring too I have to figure out where I get my uh where is it oh, yeah deluxe edition stuff or I probably have to download it but oh well let's look real quick okay everything looks good my pound is ready to uh, go high charisma high strength that's like a uh, double perfect in my eyes okay let's see shadow heart okay she has history religion insight and uh, medicine which is a good setup for a cleric uh, let's uh, go ahead and do some more exploring and looting after that I'm gonna go ahead and talk to shadow heart so uh, this way I attempt to uh, get more approval from her I'm gonna try to get her approval very very high something the matter there's no story None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Alders Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Conversation shouldn't be made. It should be grown. Let the seeds sprout in their own time. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. That is nice. I did get a few approval points, which is uh, good. Okay, I'm going to try to get to the green. She's at the uh, yellow right now, which I definitely need to boost up. And oh, by the way, if you did save Shadow Heart in the uh, prologue, then what happens is, is uh, you get a nice approval point. If not... Uh, she'll be at the uh, Overgrown Ruins, if I remember correctly, from uh, Early Access. So, yeah, always save Shadow Heart because, yeah, there's a spell or two that could, uh, you know, kill the uh, commander with ease. And if it does get a critical hit, yeah, you basically shaved a lot of its hit points. And if you do it right, then, of course, uh, you own it and you have some time, like I did in the last video. Just want to review that and why Shadow Heart is very valuable. Okay, let's see here. Bucket of fish. Oh, yeah. Start looting up food because it adds to your camp supplies. Yep, there it is. So I'm going to try to get more of that. If I remember correctly, uh, there's a camp supply bag. Okay, that's a clue. That means there's a settlement nearby. That's a very uh, good thing. Okay, let's uh, look at that. Okay, the uh, bitch queen. That's Umberly. Yeah, these people worship uh, that uh, goddess. Yeah, she is very, very dangerous. Oh, I had to face her in uh, Pirates of the Sword Coast. She is no joke. Well, her avatar, but still. Seriously, she is no joke. I mean, come on. Let's loot, uh, loot some more stuff up. All right, I am getting some nice uh, cash. Uh, however, uh, I have a nice uh, two-handed sword. <laughs> I will have to, uh, let's see, get Shao Hard a nice uh, decent mace or something like that, or a blunt weapon. Uh, I don't care about anybody else. 
uh, the rogue in the party. Uh, I'm still on the, uh, what do you call it, fence about it. I'll explain later on when we get to a point at the uh, camp. But still, let's loot this up. Okay, nothing. There. Oh, yeah, I already loot that up. Doi. Okay, there's a body there. I'll uh, get another uh, time. Let's check this out some more. Okay. Uh, it's just more of a book. And let's uh, see for a moment. Oh, wow, there's more bodies. Yeah, the Mind Flayers uh, ship really did some uh, number to this area. Or I say the survivors of it, if there's any. All right, we uh, did it. Okay, you see those overgrown ruins? You can barely see it. That's going to be for the next video. There will be two parts. Exploring the main part of it, and the other one, of course, is uh, escaping from it. All right, there's a waypoint, so the overgrown ruins, so we can get there at any uh, time. Yep. That means we click on it, we get teleported there. That's uh, very neat, right? Now there's a body. Let's loot this up. A whole bunch of dead fishermen. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, right. That's some good fish. Oh, there's some good ones. Well, let's see for a moment. Uh, there's another body there. Wow, there's a whole bunch of bodies. Oh, good. 25 gold. All right. Looks like there's going to be trouble. Intellect devours. We there are three. There are uh, damage, so it should not be uh, too hard at all. So let's kill them. Stay back. One strike could be lethal. Survival isn't such a distant prospect. Well, that was a uh, well-earned victory. So I d did take some damage. I should use a potion, but you know what? Screw that. Let's see here. He's fine. Uh, Shadow Heart is uh, definitely fine. Intellect Devourer, and one of them's uh, dazed. I will have to uh, kill it though uh, sometime. Here, uh, this video or the definitely uh, next. A duck nobleman. Oh, yeah, that must be his brain must be eaten out. Oh, this tells you surface is just like a division original uh, sin. Like, for example, this purple surface, it's like a uh, flammable. So uh, if, if you have like, a, I should say, a fireball spell or a firebolt or anything fire. Well, guess what? You get to uh, light on fire. You can also uh, stab the ground if you have a fire sword, too, like I have. Yeah, they kept the tradition in uh, Divinity original sin one and two. And, of course, made some nice improvements on it. Heck, even the, uh, I should say, the uh, party selection has improved big time. So easy, even uh, K-Man could definitely uh, do it. Yeah, I had to uh, toss that there like a Geico commercial, but still. That's uh, very easy. Oh, oh yeah, see that intellect devourer. Yeah, I'll kill it later on. And right now it's uh, almost permanently prone, which is a good thing. Let's see for a second. All right, that looks good. Let's look around some more. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, loot at this point. Pieces of armor, you uh, name it. Oh, wait, what is uh, that? Okay, that is nothing. Uh, nothing else is uh, there. We're going to uh, go ahead and search some more. Hopefully, we find some companions. Oh, good, a dead mind flare. That's nice. Well, they tried to go to Hawkins and uh, failed. <laughs> That's a Stranger Things reference, by the way. Oh, there's some fire. That's a good sign. At least the ship's being put on fire. That's nice. Okay. Yep. There's a, 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 a rogue that is a Astron. Yeah. I'll, I'll say High Elf Rogue. Yeah. I can't pronounce his name, but he is a very uh, OP rogue. However, again, uh, I'm trying to get more uh, like my party members, but if I have to get a rogue made up, I'll uh, do that. Yeah. By the way, you could do Hilings in the game, too. Which gives me another excuse, of course, to do a build video. 
Let's see here. That is a uh, fine. Okay, that's a corpse. Nothing there. Wooden crate. Thief thieves tool. That's a uh, good. All right, all right, all right. Everything's getting good here. We're getting some nice loot. Yeah, like I said before, Divinity Original Sin One and Two. And oh wow, there's alchemy. It says you can craft your own potions, poisons, and whatever. Oh, that's a good thing. Uh, but how much is it though? And is there any uh, money-making schemes about that too? Okay, look like I got a new recipe because I got Belladonna. Which, by the way, in uh, Dungeons & Dragons, some campaigns, it's used against werewolves. Seriously. Neverwinter Nights 1 definitely had that, which was uh, pretty cool. Potion healing. I'm going to need uh, two more of that, so this is why I can make more of that. I don't know what elixirs are. Grenades. Oh, that is interesting. Oh, yeah, probably a good idea to make some grenades like I did in Divinity Original Sin 1. Start chucking a few, and that was it. Anyways, let's talk to the High Elf uh, Rogue that looks a bit pale. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and definitely add him to the party. Uh, I do need a rogue for uh, now, so there he is. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. Don't we? I saw you on the ship. Free. Scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those... Tentacle. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Okay, this high elf rogue has definitely some trust issues. Still, I'm going to keep them in the party. If I remember correctly, 5th edition uh, rogues, uh, they have a range of melee sneak attacks. So as long as you're uh, a vantage position, not frontal attacks or anything like that, then you kick some butt. Oh, wow, his skills are pretty good. His wisdom, eh, not much. Perception, that's the only bad thing. But still, I'll probably do definitely strength on a rogue. Now, again, I uh, made a save because I want to make sure I uh, level up my character separately. In case I definitely want to make a guide in the future. Still have to decide on which uh, type it is, though. So, let's level up our uh, newly uh, recruited rogue. There you go. Level 2 rogue. Health increase. Uh, good some action. This is uh, nice. Let's uh, check that out. Okay, that was... Uh, looks like we got... Uh, 
Some good stuff. Elven weapon training. Opportunity attack. Oh, yeah, that's his uh, racial stuff. Okay, fate ancestry. Oh, that is uh, good, though. So after I'm done leveling him up, I'm going to go ahead and, of course, uh, speak with him, try to get some information and also uh, approval, too. Need something? Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Well, hello. No one stopped me yet. Yeah, that rogue definitely has trust issues, but that's all right. So it's now I said two, it's three of us, so more the merrier, right? Okay, let's uh, go this way. This looks like it's a new area. Oh wow, there's a mind flare and it's hurt. Good, good, good. We're gonna have to uh, take care of the problem. So let me uh, do that at this uh, very time. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Oh, uh, by the way, if you uh, do fail any of the uh, checks with the Mind Flayer, Mind Flayer will uh, get you uh, to come closer to it and it'll eat your brains. Yeah, just like uh, Dungeons & Dragons, the uh, other versions. Oh, especially Dark Sun. They get too close to you, they eat your brain, you get uh, zero intelligence. Yeah, your character's dead. Toast. Oh yeah, there was uh, Kingmaker. You had to face off against a Mind Flayer too. That was uh, pretty uh, cool too. Same mechanics though, which I love. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, see a Mind Flayer in combat with the same thing too. Okay, nothing else is here, so let's go this way. I'm looking for one more party member. And uh, this party member is a wizard, so I'm going to go ahead and go towards the ruins. That should definitely uh, help out big time. Let's see here. Okay, that's a dead goblin. Oh, good. That's a good sign. A lot of potions. Another dead goblin. Oh, wow. There's some free stuff I get to uh, sell. Oh, okay, good. 40 camping supplies. That's a huge thumbs up in my opinion. Okay, next person we're recruiting is Gale. Unfortunately, we got to help him out. Do help him out because he's a evocation mage and they are uh, really nice in uh, Baldur's Gate 3 so far so you know what let's uh, go ahead and save our new uh, mage ASAP you approach the sigil on the stone magic glitters and swirls from it erratically as if malfunctioning it looks slightly dangerous Hello, I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies, I'm usually better at this.
a bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. There we go. Uh, Gale has uh, gained a level, so he's going to be level two now. And we got ourselves a uh, evocation school mage, which is uh, very good. Let's see here for a second. Okay, he's a wizard level one. And yeah, that's his default evocation. You could change it, but like I said before, I love evocation spells. I'm going to try to do is uh, give him some scrolls. However, it will uh, cost uh, gold. So uh, make sure you have plenty of gold if you're definitely a mage. Yeah, they uh, cost money. Just like a uh, fighter, frontline fighter with weapons and armor. But mages, they balance it out with, of course, with scrolls. See, so learn spell 50 gold. You know what? Let's uh, go ahead and do that. I got plenty of gold. Okay, the uh, hideous laughter. Good thing I saved it from the mind flare ship. Not sure I'm going to be able to use it, but it's a good idea to... Uh, have my spell book really open for uh, spells in case certain situations and uh, such. I will have to start changing a few out though in the uh, future. Anyways, uh, let's uh, go ahead and talk to uh, Gale. You're not first in magic, are you? Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. How can I help? Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? I'm going to go ahead and make a save real quick so uh, this way I could uh, level up. Yeah, I'm doing these off-screen saves with uh, characters' levels. So this way, again, I'll do some builds. Okay, level 2 wizard. Yep, uh, chosen a subclass evocation, which is good. Now we get two new spells. See, wizard. Oh, wow, you could uh, definitely uh, go, of course, uh, other classes. But now nah, I'm going to just uh, straight up, uh, I should say pure for now. That's what we call it in the uh, build industry. Let's see here. Some good ones. Uh, Featherfall is nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get... Let's see what else is there. Some people say get the uh, Enhanced uh, Leap. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go Offensive a little bit. I'm going to go and uh, get Chromatic uh, Orb. 
which I feel like it's a little bit better if I could get a critical hit off that spell. And because uh, Gale has some nice intelligence at 17, which is almost near uh, perfect. His constitution is good too. Dexterity is 13. Uh, strength a dump stat. That's fine. Uh, wisdom is uh, 10. Charisma 12. Yeah, because he's a very charming uh, fellow. Uh, there we go. Uh, we're done leveling him up. He's all good and set to uh, go. Last thing we're going to do in this video is uh, go to the overgrown ruins. This is where we're going to end it because I want to make sure I start the next video at that spot. Yeah, we're going to our first real dungeon. And no, the uh, My Flare ship does not count as a dungeon. So we get to actually face some dangers of it. Well, some uh, light dangers, but still, I mean, it's a low-level dungeon. It's not bad to go into. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, this way. It's the only way to uh, actually get to the, uh, I should say, is the overgrown ruins. Oh, wow, that ship really got torn up. Good. Seriously, very uh, good. Let's get everybody else uh, down. Yep, and there's a body there. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take care of this little fellow right now. Uh, there you go. Yeah, sorry, guys. I have to kill your cousin. Yeah, it's going to die. I need some experience points. And boom. That's 10 experience points. It's on fire. Oh, wow. That's like 6 and 17. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that is uh, really good. Glad I uh, took out that uh, boss at the prologue. Yeah, if you uh, play this game, I'm going to repeat it again for a while. Kill the boss before you, uh, you know, get to the transponder. And if you have two enders, two enders, or even if you don't use it, Lysel can use it too. And we have finally arrived at the Overgrown Ruins. Let's uh, go ahead and grab that before we uh, do a very nice and uh, fun recap. Here's a recap for this video. So we recruited Shadow Heart. She was very thankful because I saved her in the prologue. Then uh, we got ourselves a High Elf Rogue. We got him in the party and then finally Gale. In the next Baldur's Gate 3 video, you see the Overgrown Ruins. We're going to go ahead and go into that. This is it for Baldur's Gate 3, recruiting Shadow Heart, uh, Astron, and uh, Gale Video. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day and night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.